There's new fossil fuels in this country as well, something that also started in the US um, and has now moved here. And that's hydraulic fracturing or fracking for natural gas. That's here in the UK. We've had a camp here, a camp frack up in Lancashire that we had earlier in the year to try and stop it. And here to talk about it is um, from the group Frack Off in London, um, Tisha. Yeah, so as Phil mentioned, um, hydraulic fracturing, also known as fracking, is a new way of extracting shell gas, or natural gas, from shell rock in the ground. Um, it involves drilling a hole into the ground, into the shell rock, injecting chemicals and water at high pressure. This causes the rock to break and the natural gas to come out. Um, it has been used in the United States and it actually has caused lots and lots of problems. How many people here have watched Gasland? Yes, so some of you have seen these lovely pictures of this methane that's making its way into people's drinking water. And it gets to a point where you can actually set your tap water on fire. There's that much methane gas in it. You also have issues of the fracked fluid, which is the chemicals that they use, getting into people's drinking water. So what this results in, um, people are getting quite ill. The industry will say they can treat the water and it's fine. However, there have been instances of people making coffee from treated water. This is water that they put their own chemicals in to make it okay and safe for consumption. And these people have been hospitalized. So this is coming to the UK. Um, there is one company called Quadrilla that actually is doing fracking right now. Um, when they started, they actually caused a few earthquakes. There were about 50 tremors, two of which were picked up by the British Geological Society. Um, the highest magnitude one was a 2.3 earthquake. Um, Quadrilla has admitted they've done this. They say you can control it, you can control these earthquakes. Actually, there's earthquakes all the time in Lancashire, they'll argue, so it's really not that big of a deal. However, we completely disagree. Uh, we do not want this process coming to the UK that causes earthquakes. So yes, we had Camp Frack where we had activists get together, learn about the science behind fracking. Um, we actually got to do a march and go down to the drilling rig, which is in the middle of a cabbage field, a nice organic cabbage field, this lovely Derek sitting there just kind of looking really disgusting and horrible. Um, and we actually organized. And so Frack Off, the group I'm in, we, our national group, we've had a few actions. Um, the more notable one is we actually shut down the rig um, earlier this month. Um, another group, uh, Bristol Rolling Rising Tide, has also shut down the rig. So that's twice in a month we have shut down the rig. Um, Frack Off London, we kind of focus more on, there's a lot of energy, um, show gas energy conferences here. We had a frack mob where we had over 100 people outside a conference shouting and chanting and letting them know we do not want this coming here. And it is working. We've had some victories. Um, currently, the British Geological Society is saying they do not believe there's as much shell gas as Quadrilla says there is, so they're doing an independent investigation, so that's great. Um, Deutsche Bank has released a report stating that it's not going to be the economic game changer here um, as it was in the U.S. for several reasons, so that's good. And Tyndale, um, sorry, Tyndale Society, yeah, released, thank, thank you, Tyndale Center, <laughs> released a report stating that if we do invest in shale gas instead of renewable energies, we will not hit our climate change targets, which is obviously like, the big thing. Everyone says, oh, shale gas is not as polluting, so we need to go ahead and do this, but it's really not. So. We are having some victories, but overall we still need to campaign. There's an early day motion, um, EDM 2292, which Carolyn Lucas has introduced, and it actually is calling for a moratorium on this industry, on fracking, until we know more about the environmental impacts. And we want to support that as well as just kind of um, campaign, spread the word, let people know that this is happening, and that's really horrible. <laughs> and they're super from the corner. Yay. Um, but overall, yes, fracking's bad. Uh, we'd love for you to join us to kind of take on this industry. And I'm actually going to close with a bit of chanting, because who doesn't like chanting? Chanting's fun. <laughs> um, one of the ones we came out of Camp Frack, it starts with Quadrilla. So it's Quadrilla, Mark Miller, Toxic Water Spiller. Quadrilla, Mark Miller, Toxic Water Spiller. Quadrilla, Mark Miller. Toxic water spiller, quadrilla, Mark Miller, fuck off. <laughs> Thank you.